what I'm looking at here is we have <clears throat> four charge controllers on the wall and those are uh, those have wires going into the inverters uh, junction boxes on the bottom and the wires coming out of the junction boxes on the bottom then go to these four uh, battery banks. And the problem we're having is if I take a clamp meter and put it on put it on the wire you can see the batteries are not charging in a balanced way. <clears throat> So on this battery, we're getting 37 and a half amps. And on this one, we're getting 76, twice as much. And if we check the others, we'll find <clears throat> they're also getting 76 or thereabouts. 78. And 77. So, of course, I would expect some variation because the batteries aren't perfect. I understand that. And I would expect I'm not measuring all at the same time, so it will not be quite perfect that way either, but this is consistent. I get consistently half as much power both going into and coming out of this battery bank as the others. I've tried swapping these two cables. I've, I've traded that cable with that cable and it does not make a difference. It's always this battery bank. I swapped the cables. I made them all the same length. They're all 10 foot cables. So it shouldn't matter which cable is which. And when they come back in here, I've split the cables so I have the negative going to one side and the positive to the other side. Back up here. So the negative is going to one side and the positive up to the other side for one battery, two batteries, and the reverse for the other two batteries. And there's an interconnect between them. So they should be well balanced in terms of their wiring. Um, and that's just the fact that I can swap two of the cables and the problem follows the battery bank, not the cable, really proves that that is not the problem. The problem is this battery bank is only accepting and delivering half the power of the other ones.